How y'all doing? It's Jared. I just picked up a couple uh, cheap cheap CCC ballet songs. I paid 15 bucks for each of them. Local cutlery store. They were marked at 25 Got them for 15 It's not bad, right? And I bought these because to it's stealing a term from Nick Shabazz, right? Still a quote from Nick Shabazz. And you can't really appreciate the good without at least understanding the bad. It's something like that. And... You know, I, I, I'm not going to go out and buy any crappy folding knives, but I did hold that true to the ballet songs. You know what I mean? I can't really appreciate the higher quality ballet songs unless I have a better understanding than what I did of these lower quality ones. You know what I mean? The, the cheap, whatever, the CCC. And so I bought a couple of them. And this one here, honestly, I am relatively impressed with. The, this is the box that it came in. I don't have a company name. If you can get anything from that, PK... 2036 BK, uh, and I'm actually impressed with this. You can see the way that it works. It's just got this protruding tang of the blade. That actual casso area is actually intersecting the inside of the handle here, so it's only got a singular actual tang pin on the back. And then there is no tang cups. The the tang cups that are well, you, they kind of look like tang cups. That's actually just being beaten beaten into the paint. You know what I mean? I've beaten up the paint a little bit from flipping this thing. Came with some nylon washers on the interior. I can actually flip it around. I don't know if it's going to come across. You can see nylon washers. It is a brass peen construction, so I'm not going to be able to take this thing apart, as well as the latch is peened on there as well. So that would be a little bit of a pain to take off, but I actually do like latches on my ballet song, so that one's going to stay. Oh, you know, I've been playing with this thing a little bit. I actually really appreciate it. The biggest problem that I can come up with on this one is the edge, because it, the, the spine. It's got a really heavy 90 degree edge on there. I'm gonna need to take that off. I'm gonna need to knock that off with some type of stone or sandpaper, just because when I actually do, just on a simple opening, swinging it around like that, it comes back, and when I rotate it down every once in a while, I'll, it'll actually come back and it'll catch me. And I can feel it just scraping against my hand there whenever I'm doing just like a basic figure eight. And I can feel it hitting my hand if I'm doing any sort of ricochets like that. It's just uncomfortable, you know? And so I'm going to be working on that one. But for 15 bucks, honestly, I'm impressed with this. It it's, doesn't have the best grind in the world, but it's not horrible. It does come down pretty thin behind the edge. It's got a little bit of a hollow grind. There's no markings, you know? There's no fake markings. They're not trying to steal anybody. USA design, see? But it doesn't say made in USA. The 440C, I don't know. If I fully believe that one, that may be some bullshit, you know what I mean, as well as the uh, USA design. But this next one here, right, and it's obvious that this is a 42 ripoff, you know what I mean? It's channel, con you know, ch it is uh, not channel construction, it's a sandwich construction, but it's a ripoff of a 42. This one, however, on the other hand, this gives me an appreciation for shitty ballet songs. Because flipping this thing out of the box, right, I took it out of the box and the pivot fell out. Okay, so that pivot is already out, right? I've got to, I'll do this now. I left it out just so I could actually film this. I'll screw it back in if I can get it in there. I'll do that later because the kicker for this knife is the spacers. I'm just going to leave this off. You can see if I can get this refocus in there. There are three nylon spacers on this side and there are two nylon spacers on this side. And it leads the handle to swell. You can actually see that it opens up. They didn't do that to fit it, to make it square. That's like a mistake because it actually forces the handle to open to come into that area there, you know, the actual tang area there. And it doesn't move. Look at this. It doesn't move. There's this. This is not free floating. It's stiff. It's got a whole lot of gunk and grease and whatever kind of crap is in the mechanism there. And you can see all three of those washers on this side and two washers on that side. What is up with this? Let me see these. Let's take a look. Clear. They're like clear plastic. And there's a lot of grease. Yeah. I'm going to strip this thing down. This will be a little project. I'm going to take this and try to make it uh, make it a little bit better. Let's see if I can take this thing apart and make it not as much crap as it is right now. But on the other hand, this one here, I'm impressed with this. For less than 20 bucks, I'm going to be able to beat this thing up. I'm going to be able to put this through its paces. And I have a feeling that, you know, 
it's ne- it's not quality. It doesn't feel as good as something like, you know, my 63 or whatever, but it's definitely nice. I mean, for 15 bucks, I can have a lot of fun with this. I can put an edge on it and it can still be a functional, you know, a functional ballot song. I can still flip it. This one, on the other hand, is just pathetic. So if you're going to be buying a cheaper ballet song, hey, stop it. Dogs messing with stuff. If you're gonna be buying a cheap ballet song, parts are probably the biggest key to take into concern, to take into consideration. The more parts there is, the more screws, the more pivots, there's more stuff to go wrong. All of these little intricate pieces are hard to machine, and so if they're not machined properly, then stop it! Hey, go! If they're not machined properly, she's she I'll show you that in a minute. It's funny. But if they're not machined properly, they're not going to work properly, and they're going to fall out. So the less pieces to fail is probably what you should be looking at if you're looking at one of these cheaper ballet songs. The less pieces there are to fail on it, the better it's going to be. I'm impressed with this. I'm going to beat it up, come back. She dropped her ball in the bucket. That's why she's being a pain. She can't get it back out. That's it. Y'all have a good one.